So today we're going to be looking at probably my least favorite and least used tools within Open Insight, but it's a tool that a lot of seasoned developers like and love and use a lot. Um, it's all about TCL and I'll explain more right after these few words. Hello, you're listening to Martin and this is another video in my series in which I'm looking at getting started with Open Insight. And today we're looking at, as I said earlier, a control that's not my favorite, one that I don't use very often, it's TCL or the terminal command line. The only reason why I don't use it very much is I came into the world of the PC when Windows was around. So everything I do is GUI based. I don't get involved with characters. I don't have with, with typing at the command line, remembering syntax and all of that sort of stuff. I'd much rather use wizards and the GUI, but there are a lot of developers out there that like the command line and find it very useful, very quick and very powerful. And for that reason, we're gonna be having a very quick look at TCL in this video. Now, hopefully you've got TCL showing. If you haven't, go to the view toolbars and TCL to turn it on, and you should see the TCL at the top of the IDE. It consists of a label and a drop down at the moment. Yeah, I don't use it very often, mine is empty. Um, an execute button that's grayed out at the moment because we've got nothing to execute, and an assistant button. Now, one of the things that we can do here, and there are a load, a load of things that we can do, but one of the things we can do in here is just type in a command. So let's do select 10 MP patients. So we're gonna pick or select 10 records from our own MP patients table. And if I then execute that, you'll see at the bottom that we got 10 records have been selected. Uh, yeah, I did it earlier on, but um, 10 records have been selected. And then we can do a list MP patients and we'll use the short name. So basically short name is going to be one of the fields. So it's list, the table name, and then all of the fields that we want to show. If I do an execute, then Open Insight will go away and it will produce me a very simple report of just 10 records from within that table. Now this is really, really useful. If you are working particularly on site or against a database with hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of records, um, you don't want to run a report to test it based on the whole of the data set. You might just want a subset of data. And this is a really, really easy way of achieving that. So you can type into the command line, but you've got to know all of the syntax, you've got to know all the commands and everything else. So one of the other things that we can do is we can click on the assistant button. And the assistant button will enable you to do a whole load of things. So all the commands uh, in the command uh, column here and a quick description of what they do. And you can simply select one. So if I select who, and click OK, then it will produce the Who screen, which is giving me my license information. Uh, another example might be to do a list dict. So if we do an OK there, and we select the MP patients table, and I can select the, the what we want with a summary listing, whatever, um, I'll just do a, a summary. So we just do a print. And then that will go away and it will do me a list of my dictionary. Now, forgive me for the moment, my um, report isn't rendering very well. That's being looked at at the moment, um, but you get the idea. And there are a few items in here 
that you might not want your users to have access to in particularly uh, in particular a delete row detach table they could be a little bit harmful if you're letting your users do such things um, you know editing a procedure if you've written a whole load of code and you've deployed it with your system you might not want your users to go in and play around well I've done a blog post on this which is entitled controlling TCL um, it's on my my usual revelation blog and this talks you through how to filter that list to only expose those commands that you want to be exposed to your users so for instance here I'm only letting my users have access to count to count the number of rows in the table to run a list uh, to list a dictionary and to do a select so very very basic commands um, you can make others available if you wish but I think that probably makes sense now we can start to get a little bit more complex with our command so I'm just going to copy these in so for instance here we're going to list MP patients so that's listing the table and we're going to show the patient number short name approximate age the app ID um, the appointment um, doctor so the doctor's name and the time so if we execute that then we'll get a slightly more involved report there we go and if I just drag that across here then you can see that we've got that information it's it's very crude it's um, doesn't look pretty but it gives you what you need now the other thing you need to bear in mind with this is if you look at the appointment time we're actually showing the internal value saved to disk rather than the um, converted format so it's that would be giving me the time I'm gonna have the same problem with with dates and, and one or two other things so you do need to think about things and within the command line you would have to be putting in all those conversions and bits and pieces if you want to so we can then take this a little bit further if we wish and again I'm just going to copy this in from notepad so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the same table but I'm going to list it by appointment date and then I'm going to have a break on the appointment date so this is where we can start to um, sort the data and we can start to group the data into bands if you will so if we just execute that one and now within the report that we get you can see that we've got a break on the date and again forgive me the date is the internal date rather than the external date but I'm not going to get involved because I don't know all the syntax and I don't want to know all the syntax because if I was producing this report I would do it in the report writing tools which is coming in a future video but again this is just showing what we can do at the command line particularly with um, list statements in this particular example so if I just grab some more code then we can extend out that that string or that sentence so that we're now listing MP patients by update break on update with the rows that's exactly what we had before but now I've got with the doctor contains Connor so we're only now going to have appointments where the doctor has got Connor in the name and I happen to have two doctors with Connor so uh, let's just execute that one um, well, I've also got another doctor called Chico so hopefully that data won't appear in this particular report okay so we've just got a couple here um, so you can see Bill Bennett and Donald Duck I've got appointments on these two dates and okay it's slightly off the side of the report but you can see there that the uh, doctor is Bridget Jean Connor and the Chico one is not actually displaying which is good now one of the things I should point out is as we are adding in these statements open insight is actually 
creating us a history list. So if we want to go back and run our original report, then we can simply collect that, um, select that from the drop down, hit the execute button, and then that will go away and run that report for us. So there we go. Um, we've actually got that uh, that report has come back with that data. Now, one of the other things that we can do, if I just copy this code in, uh, so control V, this time we're going to do a list, MP patients, patient number, short name, blah, 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 blah. But you'll see at the end here, I've got an open bracket B, or open parenthesis if you're in the States, but an open bracket B. And if I execute this, now we're prompted for a report group. And this is something a little bit more, a, bit, a little bit new. So if I do um, a report group of, uh, what should we have? We'll have appointments and we'll OK that. And I'm just going to select this particular um, string, which is MP patients and, and the date and, and a number. Nothing overly exciting. So we click OK. What will happen now is Open Insight is going to launch the Open Insight Band Report Writer. My favorite report writing tool in Open Insight is beautiful, and I can't wait to do a video on this particular tool, but that's for the future. But what TCL has done is it's launched the Bandy Report Writer and it's dropped in the code for us, as we can see here. Now, if we do a preview, I'll just do a preview with all records. You'll see that it's OK. It's not overly pretty. For a start, it's portrait, whereas it'd be better if it was landscape. So I'll click that button, move it over. It's not pretty by any stretch of the imagination. But what we can do is at the TCL level, sitting down with our client, we can put together all of these different reports and check the data is the data that they require. Then when we get back to the office, we can create or use those uh, S-list strings to create the reports in the bad report writer. And in here, I can very quickly now go in and start to format the report. So I can put some coloring in, I can go to the header, and if I go to properties and set that to visible, and we'll insert, I'm not going to spend too much time in here because this is going to be the subject of uh, another video. Um, go back to home and we'll just select white as a color. And we, oops, the text on that is going to be, um, I don't know. appointments I'll do and I can't spell um, but you get the idea so now what we can do is we can start to pretty up this report and we can put a, a footer in there if we, sh we wish to as well and uh, we can put a page footer in here also so I just do a preview of that now preview with all records then you can start to see that we can very quickly make this report a little bit more pretty with headers and footers and bands and all sorts of things. And like I said, we will be looking at this tool in more detail, so don't worry about it for the moment. Um, so that is simply using the bracket B switch at the end. Really, really useful. Like I said, you could be sitting down with your users, you can be knocking in 10, 20, 30, 40 of these different strings and then push them out to the banded report writer. Now, if you're like me and you're hopeless with syntax and you're constantly getting things wrong and this list is becoming a bit cumbersome because it will grow and grow and grow, um, there's no way at the moment of actually deleting any one of these. Maybe that's something I might suggest. But what Andrew did for me um, for this video is he gave me a few lines of code. There we go. Which is basically going to define the combo box. So that one there, the objects array. So this is the combo box in my system. So it's TCL style one and then CBO underscore sentence. We'll then set the property array to the list, pass in a null, 
and then we'll set that property to clear it out. So if I, if you remember up here, I've got all of these particular sentences in here. What I can do is if I do a test run and I'm not going to put anything in there, I'm just going to execute it, then it has cleared out that TCL. Now the downside to that is that I've now lost all of the strings that worked for me. So I might want to have a library of strings, maybe held in Open Insight in a, in a table um, or in Notepad or Excel or, you know, whatever you want to do. You can have all of those um, approved strings saved away somewhere for the moment. But like I said, if you're like me and you, you're constantly getting it wrong, um, then you can clear out the TCL very quickly using a program in Open Insight that you, you have to create yourself. Anyway, that's a very, very, very quick look at TCL, very powerful tool. Remember that the commands that you make available to users can be filtered, and I've got the blog posting that covers all of that. And um, there's also the ability within the TCL command line to put the length of the fields, um, and all sorts of formatting. So for the list, it can be very powerful, but you've also got the ability to very quickly and easily do other things. So that's TCL. Uh, that's this video done. I will see you on the next video coming very soon. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.